Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D. Lewis. So it looks like the Lakers could be getting healthy right in time for their playoff push because the Lakers currently are sitting as the nine seed in the Western Conference. They are, you know, a game and a half back essentially of getting up to that seven seed and two games back of potentially trying to get to that six seed, which is currently held by the Phoenix Sun. So this is going to be a very important run for a lot of teams in the nba lakers you know that's my team they play the kings that's going to be a very important game the kings are sitting at seven the lakers are going to play them wednesday night to see if they can get a win but we do have good news coming out of the athletic it looks like gabe vincent could be close to making his return now it has been a while since we've seen gabe vincent and i'm not gonna lie the last we've seen of him he did not look that good. He did not look that good for the Lakers, um, but he's coming back. The plan is mid to late March. That's right. This month, we should see Gabe Vincent back in action. Now, the rotations, the roles, all of that has changed since we last seen Gabe Vincent out there, right? Getting Spencer Dinwiddie, I think he is establishing himself as really a 3 and D type of guard for the Lakers. He came in, he looked really good in the game against OKC. He had a nice block on Shea. He's looking solid. Still not shooting the ball as good as you would expect. It's, it's kind of falling in line of what he was doing in Brooklyn. Um, not looking like the Dallas um uh, the Dallas Spencer Dinwiddie at this current moment. Hopefully things change, but he's falling in line. He's kind of playing his role, and I like what we are getting out of Spencer Dinwiddie. You then look at the rest of it. Torian Prince now moved to the bench. I like him in that spot. I know everybody has been asking for it. Rui going back to the starting lineup, that has worked. And it looks like the Lakers just in general, they are finding their confidence as a team. They know what the starting lineup is going to be week to week. Because remember, the first couple of months of the season, the Lakers are essentially just, just throwing lineups out there. Every other game, it was a new lineup, right? Now they're getting that cohesion. They're getting that consistency. And can they make a push similar to maybe what they did last season? I don't know if they can. I don't want to go as far because last year they were in a similar spot, made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. That, that will be tough this year but i like how they are playing and i think if you get gabe vincent back if he could be anything that you are hoping he could be when you sign him from miami really that change of pace guard for you coming off the bench i think that would be a very good addition for the lakers especially at this point just putting him in the lakers could still use another guard it sounds crazy but they could still use another guard and i do think he could play a really good role in helping the lakers move up like i said currently lakers sit at nine you have the warriors right behind them at 10 i don't think nobody really falls out of that play-in game you have the jazz at 28 and 34 i mean they are what six and a half games behind the lakers i don't see unless it's a a crazy meltdown i don't see them falling out of the plane but really you want to get to that six i mean that six seed is, is ideal you really want to get to that seven and eight so that way you're in double elimination territory and you're not one and done if you just have one bad game that is the ultimate goal is to at least get to eight or seven and it's possible the game with the kings is going to be huge if you can win those two games the rest of the year and keep pace with the kings that could propel you if the Mavs, could, you know, you can stay with them, you're only game back of Dallas. So that is definitely a possibility as well. So we will see. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited about Gabe Vincent returning. Albeit, he did not look good <laughs> the last time we seen him. So maybe it's false excitement, but I like the way the Lakers are playing right now. I think they're playing really good as a team. D'Lo, when he's not being benched, Coach Ham, but he's not being benched and he's playing in these fourth quarters in meaningful minutes. He is playing well. So I think as long as there's no boneheaded decisions, they keep the starting lineup and just insert Gabe Vincent. I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to it, man. I think the Lakers realistically have a shot. And I think actually, if you had to ask me today, I think they get to that eight or seven seed come playing in time. I'm not quite sure 
they get to six. I know Devin Booker is going to miss a week with his injury, so maybe Phoenix stumbles. They're already on a two-game losing streak. Maybe they drop one or two more this week. Um, the Pelicans, I think, may be a little too far out of reach, but um, we'll see, man. It's going to be exciting. I love the play-in. I talked about it before. I was a little hesitant when they first announced it. I love the play-in. It just gives uh, another added level of drama going into the playoffs and then of course the playing uh the playing tournament itself very very fun to watch man uh, so we'll see but you guys let me know are you excited about gabe vincent returning do you think the lakers have enough to get to that seven or eight or eight seed do you think the lakers have enough to get to that six seed that's the ultimate goal if they are able to do it currently the suns at 35 and 26 hold that spot lakers 34 and 29 you guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below is d lord i'm see y'all next time peace